Hi everybody, Cynthia here from the Scrappy Bookworm. I finally finished my mini album that I made to go inside this box. I showed you guys the box before that I altered. And I got the mini album finished, so I wanted to share that with you guys. Um, let's see, the album measures approx oops, wrong way. Approximately five by it's about a little over a five by five um, paper bag mini album, and I bound it with this really pretty uh, sheer orange ribbon, and then I tied on some strips of the black lace, and I did the melting technique on it so it would look crinkly and grungy, and so that's the the binding. And then on the front cover, of course, it says Happy Halloween. I stamped a tree, used my tree stamp to just stamp some branches that, you know, laid behind this uh, chipboard house. And there's a, like a blackbird or a raven or a crow, whatever you want to call it there. And then there's also these little ghost stickers. I don't know if you guys can see them if they're showing up really well, but I thought they were cute. They're kind of like, they're kind of like see-through and this is what they are. I got them, they were the recollections and you got, got 20 pieces in the pack. So I thought they were cute. And then uh, the house was actually plain um, craft chipboard and I altered it by painting it black and then I added some crackle to it and then I added like a dark gray over it so it gave it that crackled look. And then up here the drippings, if you guys can see the drippings, dimensional drippings on the house, I used to do that technique, I just used my 3D scribbles paint and drew on the dribbles. So that's how that turned out. And then these um, windows were actually already uh, um, cut into the chipboard. So I just backed them up with like I fussy cut out little images from the paper and I put them in there so there's a little witch in this window and then there's a spider and then up in the tower there's a black cat and then there's like skeleton faces in those win that these windows here and then I just used black um, cardstock for the door and added a silver brad and then the fence here that you see was actually a stamp of mine. I stamped onto craft cardstock and then I used my embossing powders to emboss it and I mixed them up. I, am, I sprinkled a little bit of this copper color and then I sprinkled the this gray silver color. So it was a mixture of both embossing powders and I thought it turned out kind of cute. And then I just wound in some cardstock grass behind the fence so that's the cover and then has a pull out which actually flips up and gives you four photo mats in one pull out so there's that's the first one slide it back in here for you guys if I can there we go and I just used some uh, spider webbed designed ribbon for the pool tabs. So. Okay, this is the first page. I fussy, I cut out um, these little witch legs from the paper I used and they have little witch's boots. I thought that was cute. Little knocky knees there. And I um, backed it on cardstock and made this belly band and I tucked in this circular hocus pocus tag. And I also tucked in this um, spooky memories journal mat. And then behind it, you could add another photo. And then there's a nice area there for a photo as well. Made this flower and put on this acetate, like 3D um, witch and moon embellishment. And then this is a half page I made. And at the top, there's a pocket. And that's that tag. Backed it with some paper. Thought that was cute. And then this says keep out. 
I hung from this clip one of the handmade tile charms that I made. It says, whoa, ha, ha. Okay, so that's that. And then you take this clip off, and you have, I love this embellishment too. It's a, a horse and carriage. And um, you have a pocket here that has a little mat on each side for a photo or journaling. And then this flips down to add another photo. You can add a photo here, and then there's another pocket with a pumpkin pull-out tab. And there's that little mat, and then that flips down. And then there's another pull-out. And that flips down for more photos. And then I just added this cute little pumpkin clip I made. I made these from... Um, I gotten these recollections um, embellishments and I just added the embellishment onto the front of the clip and then I used a circular my my little circle punch and punched out a tab and, and glued it on. I thought it turned out kind of cute, so I just clipped it up on here as like another little decoration or whatever into the pocket. And then you just clip this back on to the actual flips themselves and it holds it together just like that and I'll put the pumpkin tags back in after the video <laughs> I don't want to take too long showing you guys and let's see on this side of the page I made um, this photo frame and it is a working frame I used uh, my black Studio G glitter glue to kind of glitter it up a little bit added this poison bottle embellishment and this one as well and the picture just slides right in and the next page I ran my this photo mat was just black cardstock and I ran it through my cuddle bug um, I used a Fiskars plate to it was a spiderweb Fiskars plate and uh, ran it through to create that and then inked it up a little bit so the webbing would show better and then I added this um, earthworm and spirits like tombstone thing here, embellishment, so that you can slide your photograph right behind it onto the photo mat. So that's that page. And then I have another pull out that also flips open as well for more photos. So there is a whole lot of room so far for photographs little mini photographs like on this page and you know other photo mats through the whole thing and then the next page I just tucked in this um, little journal mat that says happy hauntings and then this is the other side you want to add a photo to it and then it says scary costume so I added this little um, kind of little guy that's dressed like a mummy and he has a little trick-or-treat tote and a, a candy corn for trick-or-treating and then I made this flower out of eyelet trim I dyed it like a, a deep gray color and I added this pumpkin embellishment jack-o-lantern and this stick pin that I made and then I added this um, Tim Holtz jack-o-lantern um, charm <laughs> I couldn't get the word out guys sorry about that okay and the next page I just made a pocket out of the October 31st sentiment um, cardstock here and I added one of those recollections um, embellishments to it and then we have a little booklet I made I love this uh, skeleton embellishment there. I thought that was really cute. And this is just a little booklet that has a bunch more little photo mats. You can use them as little photo mats or a little journal book, whatever you'd like. So I made that little booklet there and tucked it in. And then there's also two tags. This one's Wolfbane Wicked Whiskey. And the back, I actually made it into a swivel. So you have this, you can journal on with a white pen or just add a photo. And then this is actually the um, acetate, I'm sorry. And uh, 
thought that was really cute with the with the cat. So I added that. And then another journal tag. I just added another one of my clips I made to it. And then this is the back. Okay, let's just tuck right back in. And the next page, really nice area for a photo. And this is actually from a Martha Stewart um, little die cut embellishments. It's glittered. It's a bat. And then I added this spooky, um, oh, I'm sorry, there's a little glue string there, um, spooky embellishment. And I backed it with a moon, like a gray and uh, acetate moon there. So that's how that turned out. And your photograph will slide underneath. Okay. And then the next page is a pocket page, and I added this embellishment. And this sentiment is Creatures of Fright. And then your photograph will slide right underneath. Okay. And then in this pocket, I made this tag here. And this little tombstone tag. This was actually from one of my papers, and I fussy cut them out to make tags from them. So it's a pocket page. And then the next page says trick or treat. And I love this paper, this spider web paper. I thought that was so cool. It's like silvery and shiny. And then I added this acetate dimensional tree embellishment with little spiders in it. And then your photograph will fit behind it. Okay, so there's a really nice area for a photo here. This I made a photo mat. I used one of my dies to cut it out. Added the um, the liquid uh, pearl stuff or beads in a bottle. Okay, and added the haunted fright night or haunted night embellishment. And then there's a pocket up top with one of my um, chipboard charms. It says, Dr. Dreadful Dead presents mummified earwigs. It's kind of gross, but cool at the same time. And then that's the back of the tag. Tucks right back into the pocket here. And then this side, I added the acetate fence here. And it says, Caution Monster Crossing with some of that um, netting, again, that I picked up at the store. And then I tucked in this tag, journal spot and a photo you could put on there. And then there's also an acetate cobweb here with another spider. Just tucks right back behind there. And this page I um, created two small photo mats and I added this embellishment so you can tuck your photographs right behind it. Okay. And then I made a pocket here out of a um, bag I had. Added this acetate um, die cut um, owl and then there's this pocket here which holds another journal tag and then down here I created another pocket and added these little mini tags whoops little mini tags to them okay then I made this flower and just added that center there, embellishment there, and then there's another pullout, which is also a flip mat page. And then this is the back of the book. I just cut this from one of my Halloween dies and added it to it for just some spooky fun. Thought it was cute. So that's my mini album, guys, and it fits right into this box here, and I'm actually putting this in my store today. It will be up for auction sometime this evening. If you want to check it out, I will add the links below, and you can head over to my store to see some photos or, you know, if you want to bid on it, it'll be in there for sale. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care. Have a great day.